What was the role of rock and roll in fighting the the Iron Curtain and the Berlin Wall? <clears throat> well, the first thing, and, and what might be surprising to many people, was it wasn't the lyrics, because so many of them did not understand English. But what what appealed to them was the freedom of rock and roll as a musical structure. And this meant that um, in rock, country, jazz, blues, but we focused on rock, these are all American music forms, and they start together as a group, they end together as a group, but in the middle you always have the solo. And I discovered that was an expression of America and, and Western values, that you do things together as a society, but you never lose track of the individual. The individual always gets a chance to shine. And I think that, as much as anything else, really appealed to people, that, that they could sense that coming through. And, of course, there was a general uh, freedom and rebelliousness of rock that is not there with classical music. Classical music is played the same from century to century to century, you know, and, and, and while you can have different players and they can do it very well, they're essentially playing what Beethoven wrote, you know, 200 years ago. Well, rock and roll changes every single time you play it because of the solos, but also because no two players play it alike, which is why we have so much cover music. I think one of the things that also came across from your film was the sense that this wasn't done as a conscious effort from the West to say, let's pump rock and roll music. And in fact, the, the folks who were in charge didn't think rock and roll was a good use of, of their time to try to use that to fight the, the Cold War. Exactly. And free market people ought to think about this. Uh, rock and roll music came up without a dime of government support. In fact, it was opposed by government at the state, local level, even the federal level, as much as they possibly could. And yet it became not only the dominant music form in America, but the dominant music form in the world. You can go into a karaoke bar in Japan, and Japanese girls who don't no English will be singing Madonna lyrics. And I talked to a guy who was bicycling through South Africa and he was on some real remote hilly trail and he came to a place that was offering water as a little stand. The guy had a Van Halen t-shirt on. So rock and roll is that famous word ubiquitous. It is everywhere and it came up solely through the free market without any government support at all. 